Welcome to an Ocean Blue easel card set tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters and I am thrilled to show you what you can do with our Ocean Blue 8x8 papers and some card bases. This month we are creating some easel cards and showing you how simple it is to create something with so much impact. These have been uh, designed for us by the wonderful Ginger Rop of my sister Scrapper and she is going to showcase um, just how much fun this paper collection is to use. And as a, a Club G45 exclusive this month, we have our beautiful blue square card bases along with some ivory envelopes. You get six of each of those in this monthly kit. And we're also going to be using our square ivory graphic 45 tags and our ocean blue chipboard and the eight x eight paper pad. And it's really fun to see what Ginger has done with uh, these products, especially with the ivory square tags. She's used them in three different unique ways, really showcasing uh, the versatility of these products. So we hope you go ahead and join our G45 card club or pick up this kit. But if not, uh, you can always grab your supplies that you have at home. You can create your own card bases and grab your papers and chipboard and follow along. So here's an up close look of how adorable this you, me and the sea easel card is. You gotta love all that dimension. Plus there's a lot of space for writing a nice sentiment or even adding some photos. So to get started on our cards, the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your project sheet. If you are a G45 card club member or you've picked up the kit, it will come in your kit or otherwise you can hop on over to our website g45papers.com and then go over to that project sheet or uh, sorry inspiration tab and then click down to the project sheets. You will find our uh, G45 Card Club Volume 5 Ocean Blue printable project sheet on there, along with 30 plus other project sheets. So it'll be enough to keep you busy um, all summer long. Step one, we are gonna take our square card base, and this is gonna be on the 11 inch side. So these do measure to be five and a half inches. So when it's close, it's five and a half by five and a half. But if you're cutting your own card base, you do want to cut it to be five and a half by 11 inches. And then on our 11 inch side, we are going to score along the top of our scoreboard at uh, two and three quarters inches. So just go ahead and score at two and three quarters inches. So I'm going to walk you through three different easel cards in this tutorial but i will show you some other fun examples of how you can say take those same uh, three templates and uh, reuse them with our leftover products so you can score all six now if you want or just do the three that you're doing along with me step two we're taking our capri paper and we've cut this to be five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches and then on the card base, the part that we've scored to be two and three quarters inches, we're going to add some adhesive on there and adhere this where it'll look to be center of our card base. Like so, but our top will not be adhered, creating the easel function. Now that we've adhered this and then burnished it down, you can see our easel card function is already coming together three we are taking the b side of our capri paper and we've cut this to be four and a half by two and three quarters inch making sure our stripes are vertical step four we are cutting out five stamps all as a border strip as well as the you me and the sea image from the corfu paper i'm not sure i pronounced that right but i'll go with corfu and now we're going to adhere these stamps onto towards the bottom of our ivory square tag. So we want this to be making sure our grommet is round side up about a quarter of an inch from the bottom and centered from right to left. 
our ivory tags, the ivory square tags, you're gonna get nine in a package. And then you also get a binding ring. So you'll have some extras to play with once you're done with all your cards. And they're great to add on to gifts or put into mini albums. So we'll adhere our vertical stripes about a quarter of an inch above our blue stamps. And then just with a damp paper towel or rag, you can just wipe off any excess adhesive you have on your tag or your table. The Cosmel paper, we're going to cut out a, a crab and a seahorse. And then we are just going to adhere our crab down flat on an angle, just going towards our curved grommet. And then with some foam adhesive, we're gonna pop up our seahorse, adding some extra dimension and depth to our card, which of course adds interest. And then this is just gonna go on the right-hand side on an angle. We have added some more pop dots onto this Yumi and the Sea. And we're going to adhere this overlapping onto our crab. And then from our chipboard set, we're gonna take the super cute little blue fish, angel fish, and we are going to adhere on top of our curved grommet. So I'm just gonna add some adhesive right on our grommet and then have our fish, making sure our little fishy's right side up. Step nine is to adhere this down to the front of our card. Just centering from right and left and top and bottom. 10, we are taking our ocean blue B side and we've cut it down to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And we're going to adhere this inside of our card. 11, we've trimmed our Capri paper to be four and three quarters inches by two and a half. And we're gonna have our stripes go horizontal this time. And then we're going to adhere it to the bottom of our inside card base, just leaving about an eighth of an inch of the exposed B side of Ocean Blue. Twelve. We've cut out our seashell border from the Corfu page, and this is going to go just on our horizontal stripes, just a little bit towards off-centered towards the bottom. And then also from that Corfu paper, we are going to fussy cut out one of those little stamps and then just adhere onto our stripes at an angle. Our last step for our first card is to locate the octopus chipboard and then add some foam adhesive on the back. I made sure to add adhesive on um, underneath these uh, tag little pop-outs. I wanna keep mine intact just so it's a full complete image. You can have those popped out and then just not put adhesive on that area, but just a little tip. And then this is going to adhere right in the center of your seashell border. And then voila, we have created our first of our beautiful ocean blue easel card set. Fun variation on this template. I'll show you what we've done with our leftovers. We've uh, taken the exact same template, uh, but just switched up a few things. Um, our cut aparts, our chipboard, but you can see it's the same template and it is super cute. Whatever graphic 45 paper you use, it's all gonna look great. Our card two, the seize the day card, we are gonna be cutting up our ivory square tag and using it in a fun and unique way. And then we'll also be cutting up some of the cut aparts and using them as our little easel stopper as well. So let's get started. For step one, uh, we're gonna do just how we did with our first card. So we've already scored our base and we've added our adhesive just to our bottom panel. 
And then we've cut our Antigua paper to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And we're going to adhere it to our card base just like we did with our first card. So we're only adhering down onto that bottom. And there you have it. We've got our easel card. Step two, we are gonna be dismembering our square tag. So first we are just going to cut off the grommet portion and then we are gonna cut down the base to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter and then we'll round our corners on the two that we cut so they're matching everywhere. B side of Corfu, we've cut this to be four inches by four inches and then we've rounded all four of those corners. You can use uh, whatever corner rounder you have, or you could always use a rounded corner as your template. So if you don't have a corner rounder, you can always trace the edge of one of our tags onto your paper and then just trim off that excess. And then using some liquid adhesive, we're going to adhere our grommet portion onto our square tag. So this is gonna go up towards the right hand corner. I'm just gonna leave about a quarter of an inch from the right hand side and the top. Step five from our Corfu paper, we've trimmed out the Seize the Day panel and then it popped up some pop dots on the back. And now this is just gonna go right on top of our cute little grommet tag, just adding that extra texture and dimension. Now we're going to add our little chipboard elements to our square panel that we're creating. So I've taken two of those little circular starfish chipboard pieces and then I'm going to take this little shell that's been cut out in chipboard and I'm just going to adhere that in the bottom right hand corner of our seize the day. Now we'll adhere this to the front of our card, making sure everything's right side up. Of course, you wouldn't make that mistake, but I often do glue things upside down. So it's always nice to double check that when you've got a moving element that everything's going in the right direction. Step six, we are gonna cut Kawhi to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter, and the B side of Corfu to be four and three quarters by two and a half inches. And then adhere those on the inside, just like we did with card one, making sure that that script is right side up. From Corfu, we'll cut out the octopus square, seahorse, and crab. And then on the back side, we're gonna add double foam adhesive. So we're gonna get extra height. That way our easel card's really gonna have something to hold on to. Like we did with um, our first card, we had that chipboard piece and then we added foam on the back of that. So it was in theory like a double, double dimension just like this stacked foam adhesive. And I'm gonna do my middle one first, which is the seahorse. And I want this to be about a half an inch from the top in the center like so and then I can put my octopus even distance from the side and my seahorse and then we can add our crab to the right Shell border from Corfu has been trimmed to be um, the length or the the height of the seashells and then it is five and a quarter. So we are going to put this just centered between our square panels and our brown pattern paper. And then it's gonna go from side to side of our blue kawaii paper. And there you have it. We have finished yet another card. I love what we've done with the ivory square tag on this one. Really adds some extra pop of dimension, having that white our ivory mat behind there. 
so cute. And then to show you, if you take that same template, what you can do with your leftovers. So you can see it's the same idea. We've done the same uh, technique with the ivory tag. And then inside we've cut just squares from um, pattern paper as well as one of those uh, decorative ones. Make a wish on a starfish. So either way, you can't go wrong. They're both stunning. Our third card, we are gonna be creating a cute little pocket using our square tags. And of course it's an easel as well. So there's a lot of fun interaction going on on this card. So we're gonna do our card base just like we did with our first two cards. And then we're gonna add adhesive onto our bottom panel. And then we've taken our Fiji paper and we've trimmed it to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And we'll go ahead and adhere this to the front. Step three, we're taking another one of our ivory square tags and we are going to score with our grommet face down at one and a half inches. And then we are gonna fold up towards our rounded grommet. Step four, we're taking our Antigua paper and we are cutting it to be four and three eighths by two and a half. And then we're gonna round our top two corners. And then this is going to adhere into with our grommet side up to the top of our panel. And then once that's adhered, we can go ahead and glue down our sides to form our pocket. So I'm using a liquid adhesive for this step since dry adhesive never truly dries and things can get stuck on those tacky sides. I'm just gonna let this, hold this down while it dries just a bit. Step five, we've trimmed our Belize paper to be four and three eighths by one and three eighths. And again, we've rounded those top two corners and we're going to adhere this onto our front pocket panel. From the Corfu paper, we've trimmed out this cute little fishy border to be four and three eighths. And it's going to adhere just about a quarter of an inch from the bottom shells of our front flap. Now we're going to adhere this onto our card base. And I've been using these foam dots and now I only have a few of those left, but I have all of this negative space left, which we do not want to go to waste. So I'm just gonna trim to fit this and have this be my foam panel. So I'll just peel that off, put this on the back. It's a great way to get a sturdy foam piece and then also not to waste anything. So you gotta love that. And then we are going to adhere this towards the top of our card base. So I'm just gonna leave about a fourth of an inch on the top and adhere that down. Add some more dimension with some more chipboard pieces. And I want this to stay all as one. So I've made sure to add some adhesive on the back of all of that, um, leaving the bottom half unadhered because I'm gonna have this dangling from our cute little tag pocket that we've created. And it's just gonna be off to the right hand side and then taking another one of those circular starfish chipboard. I'm just gonna put that on top of that little tag bit just giving it an extra, extra pizzazz. In the directions, this part is left out. So um, it's an easy step. We're just gonna take from the Cosmel paper, cut out three of those cute little cut aparts. We're using the shells, a starfish, and a cute little, is this a lionfish? I'm not sure what that one's called. You can let me know in the comments. And then those are just gonna stuff 
nicely in our pocket. Step eight, we have trimmed our Belize B side to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then we also have trimmed our Fiji paper to be four and three quarters by two and a half. And then we're gonna layer these pieces just how we have in cards one and two. Step nine, we are taking our make a wish tag from our chipboard and we've added some foam on the back. I wanna make sure that this um, little piece doesn't pop out as well. So I'm gonna add a foam dot over there as well. There we have it. And then we are gonna pop this onto our panel, just right in the center. And then having that double dimension is gonna be what holds our easel card up. And then our last step is to take a fussy cut stamp. And then we're just going to adhere this on our tag at an angle. Just making sure we're using up all of our bits and pieces. And there you have it. So we've got our beautifully decorated easel card with our fun little pocket. And then to show you um, what else you can do with that template, this is what we've done with our leftover pieces. So we've created another little pocket with more of these cute cut apart inserts, another border strip, and then you open that up and there's a cute seize the day little chipboard piece but these cards would look great on anybody's desks or mantle especially now with everyone looking for anything to uh add a little cheer to their home. We hope that you have enjoyed creating these ocean blue easel cards with us. We can't wait to see what you've created, uh, what collections you've used. So be sure to share your cards on um, Instagram using our graphic 45 hashtag or on our graphic 45 community page on Facebook. And we appreciate you following along. If you're looking for more fun tutorials like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we're posting new fun videos, tutorials, and a new collection releases. We hope that you are all staying safe and healthy and we um, appreciate you all from a distance. Have a great day and happy paper crafting.